Hi Taurus, welcome to your one thing reading. Uh, everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the recommend a reader shout out, which goes to Gemstone Tarot. Uh, hopefully you get a chance to click on that link and stop by and show her some love and support. All right, so this is your one thing reading for June 9th through July 1st. All right, one thing for Taurus, one thing. The one thing you need to focus on to bring and restore order, calm, even bring confirmation. Seven of, whoopsie, pentacles. Why am I putting that right there? Can you still see it? Yay. Seven of pentacles. Are you at the crossroads, Taurus? Perhaps wanting to restore some order or thinking, oh, I don't know about this. Maybe I better pull back. Is the cost becoming greater than the payoff. All right, so we got, wow, Ooh. holy cow, nothing but pentacles here. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so we've got Knight of Pentacles. This is about you waiting for an offer because you know what you have to offer. So when you're ready to make it, it's sure and solid, but this is also waiting for something that can match what you give, making wise choices with your resources and who to give that to because you know your self-worth. This is a time, this could be a period of you being by yourself, waiting for someone to uh, step up their game so that they can be worthy of all that you have to offer. Thank you very much. Um, and it's about reciprocity and equality. Like, you know, I'm, I, I want, I am worth it. So if you're going to give to me, uh, know that you will get it back, but you have to also give what I, you know what I mean? Like this is somebody who's really kind of standing their ground and wanting an offer of stability and security because they can also provide it. This is not somebody that's just, wanting to be rescued or salvaged. And we've got holding out because you feel like in the past, maybe you've gotten the raw end of the deal here. And because you might've suspected that, now there's this disconnect. And you're in this period of reflection and healing about, hey, maybe things were not as balanced or maybe this person just can't give that. They can't give the stability, the balance, the reciprocity that I need and want. And I'm certainly not gonna make up the difference for them. There has to be an exchange, otherwise it's a charity or a ministry, not a relationship. Seven of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. I'm gonna scoot this over here. Queen of Wands, the world. Death, the chariot, and the Ten of Swords. Okay. All right, so your focus needs to be on healing. This is not about a uh, reunion or reconciliation. This is about you healing. And what's this temperance about? You could be dealing with Sagittarius, a Cancerian, a Scorpio, um, an Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. What's this temperance about? Moving to uh, safer, calmer, emotional, or <laughs> moving to um, safer, calm, emotional waters. D things need to be brought into balance and healing needs to be perspective. This is time apart or separation for healing and compassion, particularly self-healing, uh, self-compassion, that sort of thing. This is not that you're bestowing it on someone else. You're, you are removing yourself from a situation because you need to heal and you need balance and perspective. What's this Seven of Swords? So perhaps you are, we got the temperance again. This is maybe during a break, someone that cheated or you have broken up because someone did, uh, there was lying, deceit or betrayal, um, stealth involved. That regardless of what you did and what you agreed upon, it was futile because this person still continued the same behavior, only they were better about it, sneakier about it, whatever. But this is, it could be dealing again with the Sagittarius, but this is needing to heal from a situation where you were betrayed or betrayal was involved. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Good. 
but because you you might not realize it honestly let's be honest because when this happens our first reaction is oh hell no but then we're also crying at three in the morning sometimes so some you know some of us are fortunate and that happens and it's like oh okay bye but sometimes it's a real you know it does take a number on you so this is saying that if Quite possibly you are stronger than you think you are and you did the right thing by removing yourself and getting gone um, you are on the right track and it is wise to question and to be in a period of review over this and to be at the crossroads we got seven of Pentacles here seven of Pentacles here really wanting to take the time to decide if this is uh, worth it anymore and sometimes it's an easy decision sometimes it is not however uh, this, you are, I hate to say it, but you got nothing to worry about. Honestly, you got, you're, you're set, you're straight, you're safe, you're secure, your stability is not affected. You might even be considering, um, I don't, I don't know if you are, I, well, take the time, just take the time. If you are considering a second chance or a new beginning with this person, you need to do, need to do your due diligence and take some time to think about that. Um, perhaps you're regretting giving this person a second chance already. Maybe this is the second go around and you're like, nope, good, because that's going to set you free. And I don't mean to be, um, jaded or, you know, I'm not talking poorly, but, uh, you, you should be questioning. You should be skeptical. You should be regretting. This is not somebody that can give you what you want. What is this queen of wands about? Good. Taking charge. Very good. Queen of Wands about. Yep, taking charge, making decisions that benefit you, being detached emotionally, and making decisions that are going to benefit you, getting things in order, moving and shaking, and getting out there and taking care of business. Um, it could be that you're dating online. It could be this is you getting your clerical legal affairs in order, doing some clerical work right now, some sort of housekeeping, financially, that sort of thing, and taking care of business. This could also be that because of this situation that you are removed from, you are online looking for someone or you are talking to someone about how to heal from this. Maybe you're looking for another fit to your personality because sometimes the Queen of Wands represents that person that is just that really dynamic, passionate fit and you enjoy doing things with each other and it just represents a really dynamic partnership. Um, either way, whatever, the, the one common thing they have is you making the executive decision and taking decisive action to move forward. So maybe you're even still thinking about, you know, you're, you two are in this separation period and you're thinking about, do I want to get back together with them, this person, but all the while you're moving forward, you're taking care of business, you're understanding what and why and how, maybe you're talking to people or friends about that. But this is the search of um, information. This is being clear, organized. This is being decisive. So it's, it's like you're trying to stay on top of it. You're not just kind of falling apart, which nothing wrong with that. But you do have to get back up because life, you know. What's this world about? I'll tell you what this world about. It's about kicking ass and taking names. What's this world about? What's this world about? Closure closure because without it it's going to hold you back this is about okay so we right here we're kind of in this hold it like where we're separated there's some time apart but you might still be debating an offer of a um a second chance with someone or you might still be regretting that you gave them but you, either way you're still connected to this person so there's something about an offer of forgiveness and a second chance or regretting that you extended that offer because the same thing happened again so while you might be healing and on the surface you're like yeah i'm moving forward i'm making decisions i'm figuring this out but i'm also being social i'm not reclusing myself i'm doing all the things but you need to close out this with this person we got the death card we got the world and we got the devil so it's not enough that you got distance from them God, I feel like I'm like the non-relationship, you know, doom and gloom tarot because I'm like, no, nope, no relationship for you. I'm, you know, no, nope. but it's, it's what's here. So on the surface, it looks like, you know, we're taking some time apart because there was betrayal or deception involved and I am not letting that slow me down. I'm out there getting after it. I'm living my best life. I'm doing and going and making friends and finding this and blah, 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 blah. And yet 
there's still this that you're kind of connected to or it's like in the back of your mind because you're still going back and forth debating considering and it needs you need to not it needs to be a decisive cut because the lack of closure is holding you back this is you on fire from this this is you setting it in motion and this is you on fire if you're able to cut the connection of what's holding you back i know it's easier said than done i'm not saying oh it's just really easy just don't talk to him again it's totally fine no i know it's not that easy but keep or continue to make those decisive cuts continue to make this uh, to keep your distance continue moving forward and choosing things that bring you um emotional health because eventually you're going to get to the point where it's over it's done this has changed there's no going back but by kind of debating and bargaining it still keeps you connected to it and it, that's fine if you're processing through it and it's forward movement but any steps backwards um it's going to keep you connected to like this toxic situation it's going to hold you back all right what's this death about this is death about so of course you know you take it some time apart because of some kind of betrayal and whatnot um and you know lies deceit all that you're you're going forward and moving and doing and making cuts and you know i ended it it's fine but holy cow look at this seven 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 no what did i say seven 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 good gracious that's all right that's the relationship is in crisis and there's still sort of that intrigue I don't see four sevens very often i think that's a first for me in, in online readings but that's there's still that curiosity there's still that negotiation or, or you're tempted to do so and i was just talking thinking about it um there's something that is it's like you're doing everything you should on the surface. It looks, you know, because yeah, you're a strong person and whatnot, but there's still that internal battle of wanting to, to give this person a second chance, hoping that enough time has gone by to where they're, where they're gonna rise up or come correct. And I don't think that's possible. I don't think with this person, at least not yet, and maybe enough time has not gone by because it's just not gonna be worth it. It's not going to be worth it. You'll, if you haven't, if you've already given them the second chance, this is you regretting it. If you haven't yet, you will regret it. You're going to have your doubts. It's just that it would feel better to be around them, but it's not going to solve the issue. So yeah, you're around them and then almost immediately you start having regrets again. It's, it's not, it's just an empty void right now and you miss them and it's, it, you know, you're taking the time to heal, but this is not permanent separation. This is the, this is a uh, self-healing and forgive so you can get back that balance and perspective and it's almost like, so you can return, but it shouldn't be, you know what I mean? Like it shouldn't be just like, well, we're taking some time apart it needs to be definitive. All right. What's his death card about? What's his death card about? This is a very clear progression. It makes sense on the surface, right? But it's much, it's never that easy. What's his death card about? For Taurus. Making, ugh, making the necessary cuts. Cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you. Same thing right here. Enacting change, making necessary cuts, ending things decisively because it no longer serves you. What's his chariot about? Good, we got forward movement. But this is also the will, um, just like the queen of wands is and the queen of this is also that will for forward movement like willing yourself to move forward and that drive and determination to do so you have everything you need to do that taking some time apart is not the answer because i feel like you two are doing this this is a constant thing with you two it's like things get weird but you still maintain the connection this needs to be a decisive ending if it isn't already what's this chariot about We got the four of wands here, Mowage. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Because, what would that be? This is decisive forward, for, like the force of will for a communal connection transition. It's not marriage, it's transition. So this, okay. Perhaps the relationship has been stagnant 
because neither one of you um, are making the decisive cuts. Perhaps you're doing that in your own life, but you're still connected. And at this point, staying connected and renegotiating the ending or a new beginning is going to be what holds you back. You need that closure. And if you're, if that person's not going to initiate the final stroke, a pen or whatever you want to call it, you need to, because you need to be very determined about your forward movement, not in the marriage, but in transition. This four of wands is also about transition. And this is about transition. So this is about you needing to be decisive and assertive about the transition and accepting that things are over. This is a Ten of Wands or Ten of Swords, and we got the Death card here. So this is being assertive and, and literally having to, I hate to say do it, there's something about, it feels like this person's going to go stagnant or they're not going to be cooperative and you're going to have to really champion this cause to get yourself closure and forward movement by kind of taking over the transition or taking over whatever it's going to take to end things. And if it's, we're talking legally, it's like you're going to have to be the one that really gets the ball moving. But if it's just a matter of you moving out and moving any other, if this was a more positive reading, this would be about moving forward with the marriage or the relationship, like reunion. This is not though. This is about you getting clear of that, which is holding you back and not just taking the time out for healing and for balance, but that needs to get transmuted into realizing that this is the end of the road for you too. That this person cannot give you the stability and the security that you need. They cannot reciprocate what you have to offer. What's this Ten of Swords? You will always be questioning and always have your doubts. This is Ten of Swords for Taurus. This is Ten of Swords. Why? Because it's, it's a burden that simply needs to be set down. It's not about somebody sharing the burden at this point with the Ten of Swords, no. This simply is too much for you to manage anymore. It is simply time to set this down and end this. What else for Taurus? You need to, yep, okay, what else for Taurus? Focus on stability, restoring stability, balance, and forgiveness and healing for yourself because this situation is not going to change. And it's not just that taking the taking some time. No, you're done. This is getting transmuted to this. This is not about taking some time apart. This is a permanent vacation. No more negotiation. No more going back and forth about this. What else for Taurus? Can I have one confirmation card, please? Three of Cups could be a um, third party situation. This could be, I can't remember who started saying that in our base. I was saying, I can't remember, um, the camera got shut off, but I can't remember who. Um, I started calling it that and someone was commenting the other day, like everybody refers to it as that. Well, you know, it's kind of paints a picture and drives a point. Anyway, uh, three of cups, perhaps it is time in your separation, uh, to get out there and have some fun. Perhaps this is about you spending some time with some friends cause you're going to need it because we got the death and the 10 of swords and the 10 of wands. This has been dragging out for a while. This is not this first go around with this person. We've got, Issues of stability and security here being the main issue. And chances are you have spent an inordinate amount of time going back and trying to renegotiate that and convince them or wait for it. Because when you're interested in security and stability, you also are very patient and you're looking at the long haul. So you give someone a lot of chances. There's a lot of opportunity. There might even be some coaching and grooming and, and therapy and this and that. There's a lot of chances and patience given. And so this whole, we're taking some time apart that's really just to avoid this because this is not the first time you've been here with this person and it is painful. So you're, you are going to need that wise counsel. We got the queen of swords here, six of swords. You're going to need that friendship, the four of wands, the three of cups. You're going to need those friends to help you uh, transition and to help you bear the load here. And could also be that this is 
something of an issue with the, the devil here. It could be that the issue of overindulging, um, someone prioritizing that over connection, and that's why there wasn't the stability. It was because somebody was just always into the next big get or high, and it just, there was no way you can stabilize it. It's not your job to anyway. So just consider that you might be in need of some uh, friend time, some celebration time, some getting out of the house time. Sometimes the Three of Cups also can mean a reunion, a reconciliation. And in light of what I said, how this is just like taking some time apart for healing, but consider you've got the Death card, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like on the one hand, it's almost like there's an avoidance of really wanting to deal with what really is going on here. It's much better for all concerned and watching to be like, yeah, we're taking some time apart it's because there's a there's a, a preservation of this really strong, stable image. But inside, you're falling apart. And so it, it's at least in negotiating and just taking some time apart, we don't have to deal with the finality of it. So just consider that you might just be staving off the inevitable, just saying no judgment, no shade, but it just, it is hard. It, this is not easy. All right. What else for Taurus? What else for Taurus? Taurus? Okay, so we got the ship. And we got, can you, is that going to, oh, I hate it when it does that. So we got the ship and we've got the birds or owls. So this is, this is a need for diplomacy. This is a need for a uh, lack of emotional reaction or influence. This is about needing to be wise and diplomatic and judicious in dealing with the situation at hand. This could be a somebody that you are involved with that takes a lot of business trips or that you met abroad and that's why it might be dragging out so long is because you're not logistically uh, close so you kind of can pass the instabilities issues off on that. But even if you were logistically in the same area, it, these issues would still present, which would bring a whole nother level, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, I don't know, it just, this could be somebody from far away all of a sudden sends communication that they're gonna be in town and this is about a reunion and then that's when this gets addressed. And I know I'm fighting it here, but I just, this is death and this is, I, there's, this is not about reconciliation. There's a, there's that allure though. Remember I, um, I mentioned intrigue. Absence does make the heart grow fonder. Just saying. Okay. This is the 10 of swords right here. And this is the seven of pentacles, 10 of swords right here, seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles. So this is also, uh, this is probably well, I was going to say renegotiating the ending, but rather it is, maybe this is an ending that you regret and there's a lot of back and forth. There's this real sense of pride here, honestly, that for all intents and purposes on the outside, there's this image of stability and being steadfast and doing all the right things and having that patience and giving your due diligence and all that. But honestly, I really feel like it's an avoidance of dealing with the pain and the loss and losing this person. And because there is a real aversion to closure right here. There is this real that doing everything else, but the final blow, but the final, you know, crossing of the T or whatever of ending it. There's a real aversion to getting closure on this. So it's almost like you'd rather leave it open ended or just kind of, it is what it is because you do have the luxury perhaps of someone being far away or there's that distance between you to where, but that always can be renegotiated. This isn't final. And there's been a reluctance to make the ending final. And this isn't the first time you've had this issue with this person either. Okay. All right. That is where I will leave it. I will end it, Taurus. Um, I thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful. I don't mean to sound judgy. Uh, I do feel like though that, and it doesn't happen often, but I felt like I need to go, look, I know what you're doing. I know this is really an avoidance of ending it because in the name of patience and longevity and well, we're just taking some time, it's also an excuse to still maintain some modicum of a connection with someone. I know how that goes. <laughs> um, so I just felt like I need to speak to it. I'm sure I'm going to get, you know, sucker punched here and there for it, but 
my two cents, right? All right. I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care and you stay focused on that self-healing with that time apart also, okay? This is about closure for you, not about healing so you can go back to battle. Okay, I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.